Can you believe we're already at the end of January? It seems like yesterday we were just wishing each other a very happy new year. And speaking of, it is the last week of January and if I don't wish you guys a happy new year now, I have to kind of hold my peace for the rest of the year. So happy new year. Hopefully you started with a bang, uh, health in check, uh, a lot of productivity in your work and in your business, and you have a bright outlook ahead. Speaking of outlook, that's what we're going to be focusing on today. What are our thoughts on 2024? What we experienced so far in January? And also, you know, what should buyers and, and uh, sellers look for this year? Um, how's it going to impact you if you're going to make this decision to buy and sell in this year or the next? Uh, before I get to any of that, I want to extend a heartfelt thank you to all of you for choosing Metis and our advisors as your trusted real estate consultants and advisors. Um, you have a lot of choice out there. There's hundreds of companies and thousands of agents out there. For you to choose us, it definitely means the world to us, uh, especially those of you who have leveraged us multiple times and referred your friends and family over. Our business thrives with your referrals. Um, so thank you so much. Uh, it really means the world to myself and the team here. That said, we haven't been uh, sleeping or lying on our laurels in January. It is rough out there. And let me explain that. This time last year, we were learning new vocabulary words. Atmospheric river. We saw 101 turn into a river. We saw floor level buildings in San Francisco, new restaurants, and over here along Laurel Street become flooded and submerged with water. We saw trees fall and become a public enemy number one. And while you're going through that, no one is thinking about selling or buying a home. And that lasted for, gosh, 90 to 100 days last year. So our market got super delayed. And with all that in mind, there was just loads of uncertainty last year paired with rising interest rates. We had a really seasonal year. Um, we saw it peak in summer and then curtail end until through the holidays and as soon as we hit Halloween and November uh, Thanksgiving the market pretty much skidded to a halt we saw very low activity um, but it's shaping up to be different we feel like there's a lot of pent-up demand in the market there's a lot of people who want to sell but interest rates are forbidding them from they're locked in at three percent we have a lot of people coming back into the Bay Area because of either hybrid work environments or return to office, or they realize uh, wherever they move just wasn't cracked up to be, and they really like the Bay Area for its people, diversity, and being a hub of everything here. Um, <clears throat> so we're seeing a lot of activity. I'm seeing activity levels and offers as high as 2021 again on some areas. Um, clearly any time where it's median or below or right around there, say 1.5 to 2.8, something like that, um, those properties are flying uh, off the shelf given that they're turnkey, they're move-in ready, and they're well presented and transparently priced. Um, so I don't think the market is slowing down at all. I don't think it's a super strong seller's market. I don't think it's a super great buyer's market, but I do think we're kind of right in the middle and you know, we have a good inventory right now. We have about four months of supply. We have a lot of qualified buyers. We have a lot of people that are pre-qualified and shopping right now. I think it's a great time to sell. I think it's also a great time to buy. Uh, we have a few clients that are in contingent contracts right now. This stuff doesn't happen in the strong seller's market where we go out and submit an offer on a property. We get that property or we get that offer accepted and then we prep their home and we sell that one to fund the purchase of, uh, of the other home. That way we're not in so much of a rushed environment. So we're seeing that happening this year. 
and I expect it to be a, a pretty good year. I know it's election year. There's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, and if anything that we've learned in the last three years is the only thing certain is that things are uncertain. Uh, but also we have a lot of good stuff going on. Um, a lot of people are uh, more than well qualified. A lot of you are going to have fantastic years. Um, rates, feds are expected to drop the rate three times to about five, five and a quarter, somewhere around then. But if you are buying, I urge you do not wait for it. Anytime that rate drops, it unlocks a new uh, segment of buyers. And as more buyers get into the market, home prices will appreciate. Um, also, don't pay attention to the AVMs, the automated valuation uh, modules this early. We've had a big gap between December to January. And what we're seeing in the market is not going to be reported until escrows close. So we're talking probably another five, seven, ten more days before we see uh, prices and properties report and then you'll have a more accurate picture of um, where the market is right now. Because if you pull reports, it's going to say, you know, uh, offers are getting accepted at 97% offer price, properties are sitting around for 22 days, uh, we have four months of inventory, um, but the right properties are moving quick. We've seen properties sell as a fast as two to three days on the market so if you're buying right now i urge you to tour 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 with your uh realtor and then constantly uh, make those offers and make those offers strong i'd rather have you in the property and then refinance your way down as rates drop rather than try to chase the property as rates drop and then paying more and more per square feet while competing with more and more uh buyers um, that said, we're going to continue to have a lack of housing. Um, companies have asked employees to come back in the office, either as a hybrid or back in the office scenario. And then we have a lot of people who came back last year for that exact same reason, but they're renting right now. And as uh, they approach five, six, seven months within their 12 month contract, they're going to be out there shopping as well. So if you're a buyer, Get on the market as soon as you can. If you sell, if you need to sell, it's still a good time. You should be able to get fair market for your property. And I expect this year to be uh, not as seasonal as last year. I expect it to be stronger with uh, the current indicators. Um, and hopefully weather holds out and um, financing and the economy holds out. Um, and we should probably be on the inkling of a return to kind of Bay Area norm. And what are buyers looking for? Uh, it's kind of interesting to see what uh, buyers care for. There's definitely been a, a switch up of things. One, because of the hybrid work environment <clears throat> and more people working from home, people don't want uh, super open floor plans. They ideally want an open living situation but private segmented rooms as well as big bonus if you have like a private office or space that they could convert to an office and uh, with the rise of evs garages are all of a sudden uh, important um, people who are buying evs those of you who own teslas or porsche taycans or mercedes uh, EQS's and whatnot. Um, they like pulling into a garage and they like charging uh, the car. It's a little more work when you have to park outside and run a wire out and um, whatnot. So people are actually being more connected to cars and garages are uh, more of a thing. So those are the two big things we've noticed here in January. And um, sellers, because it's not a strong seller's market, you really got to put your best foot forward there. Um, prep 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 is everything take your time with uh, preparing your home for market um, pay the premium for great professional photography videography make sure your real estate agent really gets it out there promote your property um, use the use the MLS tools to pre-market on brokers tour or coming soon to get it out there in the broker network you want as much runway and as much exposure as you possibly can uh, to create that urgency and drive that demand. 
to get that price you're looking and hoping for. So I feel like it's going to be a pretty good year. Uh, my team and I are excited to get the year started and to transact uh, upon your behalf. Those of you who want to get into homes, we want to get you into homes. Those of you who want to sell your homes, we want to make sure you get the right prices for your homes. And those of you who want to do a combination of uh, moving up, moving down, or moving out, um, or coming in from a different location, we're happy to help you out with all of that. Um, some exciting news this year, we are having a few uh, move up scenarios for our buyers. And we also have some new construction coming up for you guys and um, our job is to do the possible. So go ahead and reach out to us. Let us know how we can help. Let us know how we can help.